Hello, I'm Randy Boer, Transplant Coordinator at UC Health. In this video, we will walk you through what you need to know about post-transplant heart biopsies. We choose to do frequent heart biopsies post-transplant because they are considered the gold standard to verify rejection. Unlike relying solely on symptoms as a late stage rejection sign, heart biopsies can show us early changes in the cell structure long before you feel symptoms. Some of the most common symptoms of rejection are shortness of breath, decreased exercise tolerance, swelling in the abdomen and lower extremities, and fatigue. If you experience multiple symptoms or notice a drastic change in the symptoms that are new or different from your baseline, we will typically do a biopsy right away. It's important that we consider a collection of symptoms versus reacting to a single symptom since a lot of the symptoms we mentioned are common to other ailments. If you are scheduled for a heart biopsy, you will report to the cardiac cath lab in the pre-post area for IV placement and pre-screening. Then you will go into the cath lab suite for the procedure, which takes about an hour when we use local sedation. Local sedation means we just numb up the skin area where we will do the biopsy. You can also choose to have conscious sedation which means you will get sleeping medicine through your IV to help you undergo the procedure with less awareness. This will require about an extra hour in the recovery area. Local sedation does not require any post-procedure recovery. During the procedure, you will have a sheath in your neck that stays in place. We will then be able to feed a guide wire down that sheath to retrieve a piece of the heart for each biopsy as needed. And then the wire and sheath are removed. The procedure itself is then all done. As always, we're here to answer any questions you might have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.